We will now use the multi-surface 5-axis toolpath to finish the part. We will finish the part using a tool axis control boundary instead of a chain. The boundary needs to be a closed chain and it allows the tool to tilt more to reach all of the surfaces to be machined for a better finish. Copy and paste operation number one. Then select parameters for operation number two. Select tool. Select library tool and click on filter. Make sure the tool type is ball end mill and set the tool diameter to 1 8 and press OK. Select the 1 8 ball end mill and press OK. Enter the comment, finish the part using 5 axis multi surface toolpath with tool axis control to boundary. Select Holder. Select Open Library. And select the CT40-IN Library and click Open. Select the C4C4-0025 Holder. Select Cut Pattern. Change the stock to leave on drive surfaces to 0. Change the Across Step Over to point. 0, 2, and the along step over to point zero two. Select Tool Axis Control. Make sure Tool Axis Control is set to Chain and click on Select. When the Chain Options box appears, click on Select Chain. Right click in the Chain Manager and select Delete Chain. Then press OK. Then press OK again. Change the tool axis control to boundary. Then click on select. Select the boundary. Then press OK. Select roughing. And disable depth cuts. Then press OK. When the assembly has changed warning appears, change it to create a new assembly and press OK. Regenerate the dirty operation. Then backplot operation number two. When backplot is finished, press OK. Then expand the machine simulation options and change stock to load STL file. Then click on select. Navigate to the location where you saved the STL file. Select it and click open. Then click on simulate. Click the arrow under Backplot and select Material Removal. Then run the simulation. Close the simulation window. At this point, you are ready to post the file. Congratulations, you have completed the Mastercam 2019 Multi-Axis Essentials Video Training Series Tutorial Number 10.